there, my name is Kelly Dell with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, November 25th, 2019. One of the questions I get asked most online and here in store is what is the difference between a Japanese Delica bead and a regular seed bead? So today, I hope to clear up any confusion that any of you may have about the difference between those two beads. Now, there are quite a few differences in them, and so we're going to talk about those as we go through. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two here in a minute. So, we're going to talk about the, 11, or the Delica beads first. Delicas generally come in a size 15, a size 11, and a size 8 seed bead. So, 15 being smaller, 11 being a little bigger, and an 8 being one of their bigger size of Delicas. They are made in Japan by the Mayuki Company, and they are a perfect shaped cylinder bead. So the bead itself has thinner walls to it with a larger size hole to be able to do several thread passes through the bead. A Delica bead is great for brick stitch, peyote stitch, um, like right now all the rage are 3D stars, anything that you want to have a nice uniform look and show a really good pattern, size 11 Delicas is what you're going to use. Now a lot of people get confused confused about size 11 Delicas because even though a lot of Delicas will have the same DB number and a DB number stands for Delica bead and then it will have a number behind it like DB310. I've been around them so much I automatically know that DB Delica bead th number 310 is matte black but somebody else might call it matte midnight or matte jet or you know who you know all sorts of crazy names even though different companies call their delica beads different colors and even different softwares call them different colors the general consensus is as long as it has the same db delica bead number you are set to go there are quite a few kits that we make up um, that one company, when I actually use the software and put it in, um, it, it may call like burnt sienna. It may call it, uh, you know, like opaque, uh, shiny, silk, you know, burnt chimney or something. But as long as they have the same DB numbers, you are good to go. Um, now, your size eights. Delica beads will have the same DB numbers, but I think they are DBL is what the number out on that. I'd have to double check because I can't remember right offhand. But Delica beads have DB numbers known universally and it makes them really easy to find them as you go through. They are going to be extremely consistent in their sizing and their color. But now, like with anything else, Delica beads are made in color batches. And it's just like if you've ever crocheted or you've knitted before with Delica beads, when they make the batches, one batch may be a certain color, but then when you get a bead tube from another batch, it may be one shade off or just a little bit off from the previous batch. So what I always tell customers, if you're making a project and you are even remotely afraid that you might run out of beads, it's always best to buy an extra tube. So that way, if you run out and then you happen to get a different tube from another batch of beads, then um, it may look a little different. So that's why you want to always get, um, especially Delicas, more than what you think you are going to need. Um, that's just something I have lived by for 18 years now. Um, so that is mainly about your Delicas. Now, one other thing, Delicas are normally sold in grams. Um, so people sell them anywhere from 4 grams to 7.2 grams to 20 grams, but they're normally sold per gram. Now, let's talk about a regular seed bead. Regular seed beads are made in Japan and the Czech Republic. 
The big difference in a regular seed bead versus a Delica bead is your regular seed bead has a more round shape to it. Um, and depending on if you get the Japanese version, they're pretty consistent in their sizing and their shape. The Czech version of a seed bead, they are very inconsistent as to their size and shape. So you have to be really careful when you work with them because they can make your designs kind of come out a little bit wonky if you get not a great brand of the Czech ones. Um, they uh, normally come in a size 11, or I'm sorry, a 15, an 11, an 8, a 6, and they go up from there. So they make these in lots of different sizes and shapes. Um, they are the most commonly used seed bead in the bead weaving world just because they are so readily available. Um, you can pretty much go to any big box store and buy seed beads. Now, the quality is not gonna be good is what you would get from a um, bead store or a reputable online retailer, um, but you know, we all do what we have to do. A regular seed bead is normally sold by the gram or by a hank. Now, a hank usually has eight to 14 strands of beads in it, and they are normally from eight to 20 inches long per strand. The strands are really, really nice if you're trying to do quick, um, quick changeover from the string to your working thread. Um, so that's why a lot of people like the Hanks. Now let's go ahead and let me actually show you the Delica bead and the round bead so you can see the difference in the shape and their size. Okay, so let's take a look at our regular seed beads versus our Delica beads. So this is a size 15, a size 11, and a size eight in a Japanese regular Mayuki seed bead, okay? The, and again, I'm gonna put them here so you can see them. This was the 15, the 11, and the eight there. So you can see the size difference on the three beads. Now you see with a regular size 11 seed bead, we have that nice round shape to the bead. And they, these are pretty consistent. These are the um, Japanese 11-0 regular Mayuki seed beads. Now Mayuki also makes the Delica bead, which are these two beads right here. This is an 11 and this is a size eight Delica bead. Now you can see here, there is quite a large size difference between the 11 and the eight. I always recommend, especially people wanting to learn to do peyote stitch, that they use the size eight to learn peyote stitch because they are bigger and they lock together really, really well. Now, you can see the difference here between your regular size eight um, seed bead and a size eight Delica. You see with the Delica here, you get the nice cylinder shape. And here with the regular seed bead, you get that round shape. Now I wanna put them on the beads on their side so you can see a little bit better here. You see how a size eight Delica has that thin wall and that large hole to the inside. Whereas a regular seed bead has a little bit of a thicker wall and not as big of hole as you get for the size eight Delica where size eight and 11, where you're gonna get a lot of thread passes through that bead. Now I will also wanna show you real quick um, the size eight Delicas, like I said, um, the 11s and the eight work really good for patterns. So this is actually a pattern I will show you at the end of the video where you can purchase this one. Um, this is one that um, I purchased off beadpatterns.com. You can see with the Delicas, this is brick stitch, how they all lay in nicely and they work up really well where you can see your pattern really, really well. I could have done this with regular seed beads, but it would have turned out larger and it would not be as uniform in shape. Now here is a project I made with regular size 11 seed beads. This is a project I'm gonna be showing in an upcoming video, but you can see I could have used Delicas for this, but the tube would have came out smaller. And um, with these, I can see the pattern really well. Um, 
and I didn't need really big holes for this because it didn't take a lot of thread passes. So you can see now the difference with something stitched with a regular 11 Delica, my Yuki Delica, and a regular my Yuki seed bead. Now your seed beads, your regular seed beads here, they um, again are made by, by the my Yuki company and they also have numbers similar to Delica beads. You, it'll say 11 dash and it'll give you your number. Um, and that they're not all uniformly the same between the two, um, but that would kind of give you an idea. And mostly in seed beads, what we carry at our store is you're gonna find a Mayuki and you're gonna find a bead called, ah, let me get it here. It's called a Toho seed bead. Toho is just another brand. Um, you can see here that they are both um, very much round. It's just the Mayukis are a little bit smaller than a Toho seed bead. So that is the biggest difference between those two brands and these two beads here. Now, another thing to be aware of with your seed beads is no matter if you're using a Delica bead or a regular seed bead, is your thread and your needle sizes. So for size 15 seed beads, I always suggest a size 12 needle. And if you're gonna use Fireline, I suggest a six pound or a four pound Fireline when using size 15 seed beads. Now you can also use Nymo, you can use 1G, you can use DuraThread, all with your size 15 seed beads. When you bump up to a size 11, a size eight, or a size six seed bead, um, you can use a size 10 beading needle and you can use your six pound, your eight, or your eight pound fire line or even bigger if you wish, as well as your Nymo, your 1G, your Dura thread, your HANA thread, any of that will work with your different seed beads. The biggest thing you have to worry about is how many passes your needle and thread are gonna have to go through one of your seed beads. If you're gonna have to go through a bead several times with your needle or your thread, either one, you'll wanna make sure to use a thinner needle, so probably a size 12, and a thinner thread, like a six pound or a four pound, or either your Namo, your Hannah, your Eslon, whatever you choose to use. So I hope that you learned now the difference between a Delica bead and a regular seed bead and that you are more confident in choosing between the two. Now I wanted to let you know the pattern that I followed for that ornament that I showed you is um, this pattern here. Let me get in on it there. There we go. And I found this pattern at bead patterns.com now there's a little slash uh, let me see if i can get it on here for you uh, let's see there we go and that's where you can get the pattern for the um brick stitch earrings and she also has a great peyote stitch bracelet that goes along with that pattern and she also has lots of different color variations um if you are pretty advanced in your brick stitch stitching skills then this would be a really good one to do because there's a lot of larger increases and decreases in this specific project so i also wanted to let you guys know um, today, all the way through November the 30th of 2019, so this coming Saturday, if you're watching the video in real time, um, we have a sale going on on our website. Um, you can use the coupon code GIVING, G-I-V-I-N-G, and you'll receive 25% off your total purchase. Now, please understand it's first come, first serve. No rain checks will be given, um, and and um, you can use that coupon again to giving, G-I-V-I-N-G, through November 30th, 2019 to get that 25% off discount on everything on our website. So guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.